friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design, and I'm here to share another peek at a new release that's coming out. This is a beloved DCE Deluxe Collector's Edition of By the Sea that Graphic 45 is re-releasing um, in January 2019. I am I always love this collection, so I'm really excited that it's coming back as a DCE. So for the Creativation booth, they asked me to make an album and I did so. This is one of their beautiful craft mixed media albums and these guys are big and they're so beautifully made. This is eight and a half by eight and a half and I've covered this with the papers. I created kind of a popped up mitered frame by cutting the border, mitering the corners, backing it with um, chipboard and then creating this little frame. Then a shaker card pocket that I made just by stitching clear acrylic card stock to this beautiful image from the cut apart page. Lots of fussy cutting along the side with some real shells and real North Carolina beach sand that I tucked in here. And then over here are the gorgeous Graphic 45 um, florals. These are the blues. And I painted up some little um, beach themed charms and then tapped them with the Decades Bon Voyage Blue ink, just so that everything blends beautifully. This is one of the door plates and knobs, and again, I painted this with ivory paint, then just tapped it, um, actually brushed on um, more of that Bon Voyage Blue. The spine is dressed up with more little charms, beach charms that I had in my stash, and one of the staples clock keys and then I cut this image down to fit on the spine and it wraps around to the back. So we'll take a look inside. I had to keep this fairly simple because my timeline was short for getting this back to graphic 45. But one of my signature pockets in the front with a cut apart tucked in for journaling. And don't you just love, I just love these papers. Again, here mitered corners and a little tuck spot. So you can put a large photo here and then journaling here. And then with the vellum pages, I had such fun with these. I love the vellum pages, but one of the things that bugs me is that vellum is very delicate, so it tears easily. So I stitched the vellum to the heavy craft page, left a little opening, filled it with shaker beads. This is from Lilac Lane, this is the chambray. Um, and then created this really fun shaker pocket with the beach rules. Then over here, just a little piece with a photo mount tucked in, little border pieces. And then this companion page, these are fussy cuts from the signature page, and this one is a pocket. This one is not a pocket. This one is just, you could do a little journaling up here if you wanted to. Then over here, a little tuck spot with room for a large photo, and this is the craft, this is the pocket. You get four of these in the album, and I just created these little folios to go inside, and then of course you could dress this up. Um, again, time was short, so I couldn't do a lot of the little details that I usually do, but honestly, these papers are so gorgeous. I really love the way this looks. Here's another one of those fun vellum pages, and what I did to create this kind of watery looking background was I just directly applied the Decades Bon Voyage Blue ink to the vellum, spritzed it with water, and then heat set it, and it created this really fun watery background. Another one of the beautiful um, images from the Cut Apart page. Here's another pocket with a little photo mount. Here's a little pull-out page, just a little border piece. Um, here's a lovely journaling tuck spot with room for a photo go, to go behind. Another one of the pockets with a, a little folio tucked inside. And again, on this side as well. And I made the folios. I didn't use all the pages in the album. The album is huge. So I took a lot of the craft and ivory pages out and that is what I used to build the folios also to make the journaling spots because then everything is perfectly color matched and I love that. Here's another one of these fun shaker pages. These are just um, tuck, this is a little shallow pocket down here so you could tuck your photos inside. I got a little 
little lint right there. Another pull-out page, border pieces, another really fun tuck spot with a journaling thing, another little folio, and I pretty much used up one whole DCE. I didn't have the chipboards or the stickers, I only had the papers, but it's beautiful. I mean, I, I love how this turned out because I love this collection. So that's just an idea for what you can do with, and this is a side pocket page, and I left the photo mounts inside so that when the photos get added, everything is good. So that's just some ideas of what you can do with this beautiful collection. I might have enough, I might possibly have enough left over to um, make a card, but I really did pretty much decimate this collection. So that's another sneak peek at what Graphic 45 is releasing this month at Creativation, January 2019. I hope I've shared some ideas and tips that you can use in your own crafty adventures. And now I'm gonna get this packaged up, sent off to Creativation, and then I've gotta get my craft on. Thanks for joining me, bye.